hey what's going on guys welcome to crypto growth in this video we're going to be discussing a coin that uh, isn't receiving much coverage lately but uh, when it launched initially uh, it got its share due in the beginning it, uh, it got hyped a lot as well so uh, I was wondering what is that token up to lately so when I went through the socials the social media and uh, whatnot I found out that uh, there isn't much coverage regarding it no videos or any news updates uh, slow progress I think slow updates slow news so let us dive and check it out that coin that I'm talking about is uh, legacy network LGCY so here is its website um, supernova main net handles 10,000 transactions per second at an average cost of 0.01 dollar per transaction so it is a layer one coin basically it is having its own uh, blockchain you can check it out block explorer and uh, when i clicked on learn more uh, it took me down to a page which says we will be back soon so yeah lgc wise block explorer allows you to explore and search the le legacy blockchain for transactions tra addresses tokens and activities developer tools lgc wide network is an open source uh, open source programmable smart contracts platform for decentralized applications okay so uh, developers can uh, are able to build upon this blockchain and build apps it has its own decentralized exchange known as Myriadex. Myriadex is an automated market maker that is designed to make it easy to exchange legacy network LRC20 tokens. So this is coming soon. Uh, as per as they're saying, it's coming soon, but we do not know when it would be coming or launching. Uh, we do not have uh, basically launch dates as far as my understanding goes. You can enlighten me otherwise if you know something deeper anyways let's click on developer tools so yeah introduction here is a page where it introduces it introduces legacy network legacy network is a deep po's open source blockchain protocol with industry leading transaction speed and flexible utility okay running on the libertas protocol the network's aim the network aims to be the most decentralized d app blockchain in the world bringing true decentralization yeah i remember this they were saying this is going to be the most decentralized blockchain out there with dpos os depots by implementing the libertas protocol to the governing bodies gbs system of governance by splitting up the 27 gbs into three branches uh, in simple words they're planning to make it decentralized like separation of powers in the u.s constitution when we're uh, there are there are going to be three branches and no no one token holder or no one power can dominate the blockchain or the governance system so yeah here it is no single large token holder will be able to gain an unbalanced amount of power supernova net handles 10,000 transactions per second at an average cost of 0 0.01 dollar per transaction so yeah you can see that they when they initially launched there was a lot of hype surrounding them especially when they said that they, the the stakeholders and the node providers would be uh, rewarded with their own stable coin let us check that out usdl <coughs> yeah here it is usdl stable coin stable coin used for gas and within ecosystem as base pair usdl is the gas token for a legacy network instead of having bandwidth and energy the legacy network will use usdl as gas one USDL will be a credit for dollar wor one worth of transaction, so it uh, it is fixed the transaction server fees. USDL is a stable coin. That means that for people who stake or run nodes with legacy tokens, they will earn payouts in a safe, stable coin rather than in a volatile token. So they wanted to uh, maintain the price as well because, uh, as per they're saying, when uh, a stake when stakes happen and the stakeholders get their reward, they 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 traditionally get that uh, reward in the uh, in their own token if meaning if you stake uh, any coin any traditional coin you're going to get be getting rewards in that same cryptocurrency but uh, in case of legacy network we would be we would have we would be getting 
the rewards in USDL. So it won't uh, increase the selling pressure on legacy network. So this was the initial idea. Burning and freezing 79% uh, of total legacy supply. 21 billion total supply, 100 billion lower to 21 billion, 33% of total supply are released for the team to keep the voting power and control over the network. These tokens will be burned to turn project over to the community and developers building on legacy. Means the project's uh, de uh, development and building would be transferred to the community and developers. 60% legacy in circulation, no vested tokens, all tokens are in circulation to be used within the legacy network ecosystem, fund for dApp and ecosystem, remainder of the tokens will be elig eligible for developers building on legacy network, kickstarting builders. Okay, so yeah, ecosystem to be announced. Leadership, this is the founder, co-founder of uh, legacy network, Justin Wayo. This is Wes Wade, co-founder, Abhilasha Singh lead developer yeah legacy network was founded in august 2020 with the intent of delivering the promise of a true decentralized blockchain at the beginning of the venture centralization is so the intention of legacy network was to uh, promote decentralization in in crypto in the blockchain and uh, as, as far as i remember they launched this their own network or their own blockchain due to the fact that they were not finding any other blockchain suitable for their app called, called Lootup app. So that Lootup app required them to build their own network, their own blockchain, as they said. Uh, so it is a fast network, EVM compatible, low cost, open source, liber, Libertas protocol which sl splits uh, up the 27 governing bodies, limiting power. So yeah, so initially what sold people on this coin were the partnerships that an infant coin had. You can check this out, guys. Uh, Bitru, Globiance, uh, okay. Chainlink, RocketX, SATA, UTU. Yeah, here it is. Gate.io, Volcania, Flare Finance, and none other than Zinfin XTC Network. So these are the partners. So what gives the investors hope and what gives us hope as as for the title as far as the title goes is legacy network dead or alive uh, the partnerships are still giving investors hope that uh, they won't partner with a coin that is that won't complete their development in the long run because if you if if, if at first glance you look at their chart this is something straight out of a horror movie. It is a nightmare for investors. You can see it is down 99.99% all time. It's uh, <coughs> all time high was uh, 0 0.9077. <coughs> uh, no data available for their all time low. So you can see now it is at, it's priced at it has got gone all the way down to triple uh, four zeros nine six four at the moment, now from nine zero all the way to it has gained uh, one one two three or four zeros. It was nine zero now it is four. It has gotten four zeros. So this is what has scared a lot of investors, as as they are claiming that the token or the coin might be dead or something. Uh, so. What's giving people hope that if it's truly alive is are the partnerships, in my opinion, and uh, some glimpse of hope is also present in their social media uh, social media uh, accounts. But uh, I think they can do a bit better, in my opinion, because not a lot of updates. Uh, you can see it is a good day for the crypto space. Okay, wish we could have been there. Uh, they didn't go on on XDC live. This, they said that uh, due to a natural disaster, they couldn't be there. Anyways, the tweets like these, bottom right is the cutest. This is their founder. So we need some legitimate updates a bit more, a bit more. Yeah, like this one, as legacy progresses. These are the tweets that give investors a bit of hope as the legacy progresses towards decentralization and the Myriad X launch. We're eager to know what are the community's top 10 preferred trading pairs 
legacy USDL, but still the Mediodex launch date is not announced. They should at least be giving uh, not a specific date, but uh, which year or which month, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. This is the founder, Justin Wayo. Yeah, you can see that we fulfilled the last of the legacy developer fund and burned 1 billion tokens, almost 50% of legacy tokens burned to date. The community developer fund is now switching to USDL as intended in our original plan. Join our MEMA. It was back in June 29. So they have to do these updates regularly, in my opinion. This is good. Community, if they're truly developing, then this gives the community a bit of hope and uh, they get to we they get to be connected with the team with the uh with the with the, the lead, team members and whatnot so yeah you can see now we're in may from june to may may 16th so the updates should be regular in their social media uh, page pages this is the page of loot up app their app which they uh, based their blockchain on they said that they had they were planning to make this app this is why uh, they had to launch it on their own blockchain which uh, yeah you can see we're in directly in July July 23 May so there are not regular updates this is the founder March 24 he said yeah, from March directly to August. So here's a, uh, I think, uh, a, a difference of two months, March, April, May, June, July, August, almost four months that we haven't gotten any updates. So we should be getting regular updates, in my opinion. Yeah, here it is, May, April. Okay, he has been uh, reposting stuff. My bad. He seems like a, an innocent guy. I think he might be developing a lot in the background. So Legacy Network might just be alive and ready to take over anytime during the next two to three years or so. Let us, uh, at least for the sake of the investors, let be let's be optimistic and pessimist and not be pessimistic. Yeah, here's the here's what's been uh, here's what the community is saying about legacy only 200x legacy soon so the community is optimistic as well the ones that are invested obviously i still hodl these and have not sold a single piece legacy is one of them it is with the company of a good coin known as bitcoin <laughs> so yeah for your sake buddy let us hope that it is alive and your hodl makes sense in the end hopefully and legacy token is alive so yeah uh, this is pretty much it I wanted to give you guys an update about legacy coin and uh, uh, I wanted to check what's happening and what's what's the new surrounding it because I was a, a bit interested in the beginning it was it gained a lot of traction and hype and it has still has a lot of good partners XDC network, Flare network, and uh, uh, Gate.io and whatnot. So there is still hope. I think uh, they they've they've got some tweets that the launch of Miridex is soon. They might be planning to launch the USDL and everything. They're burning the coins, and they they said that they couldn't join on XDC live due to some natural disaster. So they had originally planned to be there. So. The, I think the updates should be regular and time frames should be given, timelines should be given regarding the launch and uh, development and uh, there should be more AMAs, AMAs to be connected to connect their uh, team members with the investors and the community. So what do you guys think? Uh, do you think uh, Legacy Network uh, is alive or dead? Uh, so hit the comment box below and uh, if you like this video be sure to like share and subscribe and stay tuned 
for more in the future more few videos in the future until next time take care and uh, goodbye